Welcome to this week's Fighting Scots Sports Report. I am Tyler Trumbauer. Homecoming was Saturday and campus hosted a triple header of Edinburgh Athletics action. The main event of them all was the football game as the Scots hosted Clarion at Sox Harrison Stadium. Edinburgh was searching for its first win of the season while Clarion came in undefeated. The best start for the Golden Eagles since 1983. Clarion received the opening kickoff of the afternoon, went right down the field, finishing with this connection from Connor Simmons to Kevin Ginevro. Jumping to the second quarter, Clarion leading 13-10. Simmons hit Matt Lehman with a perfect strike. Now it's 19-10. Clarion after Burrow blocked the PAT. Edinburgh's defensive line did well on Saturday, though. Sacked Connor Simmons four times on the afternoon. Edinburgh had back-to-back -back turnovers, which Clarion turned in the points, but Sisson ran in the final touchdown of the day. However, the Golden Eagles won 36-23. to Borough football will make the short trek up I-79 to face the Gannon Golden Knights on Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can hear that contest on WFSE 88.9, EdinburghNow.com, or the TuneIn app with Mike Fenner and myself on the call. The women's volleyball team had two home matches as part of the homecoming festivities this past weekend. Before the two ma weekend matches, the Scots started the week off right with a sweep of Slippery Rock. Vic Severo and Mara Maycock led the way for the borough. Then the weekend matches was a battle of local rivals with Gannon and Mercyhurst making trips to Macomb Fieldhouse in back-to-back -back days. Borough downed Gannon in straight sets in a battle of the top two squads in the Western Division on Friday night and then defeated Mercyhurst on Saturday night 3-1 with the PSAC kills leader Shallon Litweiler adding to her total with 13 kills in the match. The ladies hit the road for the final PSAC East-West crossover. They take on Cheney and Kutztown on Friday and face Westchester and East Stroudsburg on Saturday. The women's soccer team had a pair of games last week, hosting Mercyhurst and visiting Bloomsburg. Edinburgh shut out Mercyhurst on Wednesday to win its third straight match. Alexis Becker and Haley Hammer netted the two goals for the Scots. On Saturday, Bloomsburg got the best of Borough, winning 2-1. Allie Camp scored first for Bloom, but Grace Carricky scored on a header to tie the matchup. However, Rachel Yanni scored the go-ahead and match-winning goal. The Scots visit Gannon on Tuesday before returning home to host Kutztown on Saturday, which you can see live on ETV, which is also the first of a three-match homestand, the final home matches for the ladies this regular season. The cross-country team stayed local on Saturday to wrap up their 2015 regular season. Most of Burroughs' top runners sat the finale out and prepped for the PSAC championship, but Becca Bond was in the race on Saturday, making her 2015 debut after recovering from an injury. She finished 10th. A trio of freshmen represented Burrow in the men's race. Brady Diener was the first fighting Scott to cross the line. The biggest meets of the season are up next for the cross-country squads. First is the PSAC championship on October 24th at Slippery Rock. The men's and women's tennis teams were a part of the homecoming festivities as well this past weekend as they hosted John Carroll on Saturday in their fall finale. The men left triumphant, winning 7-2 against John Carroll. The Scots swept the singles competition with their only losses coming in the doubles portion of the match. The women's team fell to John Carroll by the same uh, outcome, 7-2, for the, its first loss of the season. Laura Lopez at number two singles and Tatiana Batala at number five singles earned the two victories on the day for the ladies. The ladies were scheduled to face Alderson Brodus on Sunday, but that match was postponed. That concludes the fall portion of the 2015-16 season for Edinburgh Tennis. The squads return to competition on February 20th against Walsh. That's all for this week. Follow us on Twitter at ETV Sports to stay up to date on all the latest Borough athletic happenings.